Yo guys, Overload here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm actually going to be starting a little series um, that I just thought up about like literally about 30 seconds ago. I'm going to start a little series where you just talk about stuff and you know stuff that's like on my mind or stuff that's happening or teams and things like that. Anything really, anything that falls under the the whole idea of stuff. So today I'm actually going to be talking about Team Razor because it's a team that me and Tasty both are in. Tasty is a pub stomper and me is a commentator. And the gameplay you're watching in the background before I get into Team Razor is a double DNA bomb whilst level 1. Tasty was level 1, which is pretty cool. He had his, obviously his first unlock. I think he was using the bow on the map green band. And it's a pretty quick double DNA bomb too. So thank you very much to Tasty for getting this gameplay in the background. It's really cool. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you stay subscribed for more content. Um, guys, I'm going to talk about Team Razor now. So, Team Razor are a clan of around about 17,000 subscribers. They hit 1 million views, 1 million channel views over the last couple of days, which is absolutely insane. A really, really big uh, congratulations to them for making that or for uh, that happening. That's really cool, like, because that's such a big achievement. 1 million people. 1 million people have actually clicked um, on their video and viewed a video, which is pretty sick, to be honest. So, Team Razor are obviously a pub stomping team. They started around about Black Ops 2, I think. I can't really remember rightly, but I initially joined Team Razor when they were in Ghosts, and particularly like towards the midway point of Ghosts, when people started getting unique DNAs, like Litterbug DNAs and stuff like that. Around the time where Razor Addy was really, really, really good at Call of Duty, the time that Razor Pred before he joined Carnage was in uh, Razor. Mystical Prime was also co-leader of Razor too. And it was a really good time to be honest. I joined um, like literally a couple of days after they did their 10,000 subscriber face reveal. So I just about missed, off, missed out on that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty big missed opportunity there. But oh well guys, we move on don't we hey. Um, basically, I was in Razor for a good couple of months I think. Um, I did, you know, obviously did a couple of commentaries. My very first commentary actually was a world record. It was the world's first search and rescue chem strike, which is uh, quite a good achievement, to be honest, I must admit. Uh, really good gameplay, and it was done by Addy as well. So Addy was really going ham at that time. And it was done when the demo was out, when the COD Ghost demo was out, um, ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Such a long time ago now. And I remember listening back to that com now, and it's absolutely shocking. Didn't even have a HD microphone, so my voice was absolutely awful. I couldn't believe it. And it was really funny, to be honest, uh, listening to that. It was just ridiculous how I sounded. And I was a little bit higher pitched than I was. And um, the commentary was not well edited at all. I kept on erming and ahhing all the way through it. And definitely, to be honest, practice does make perfect. Because I didn't practice a lot before I went got into Team Razor. I initially owned a clan who got about 200 subs. And I left to join Vengeance Pub Stomping. I did three or four commentaries for them, then moved straight to Razor, which is pretty cool to be honest. Managing to get into Razor after only being on the scene for a month is pretty damn good. So um, after being picked up by Razor, I, you know, I kept on making comms. Only made like three or four comms for the channel. Then I left and then ended up doing loads, actually loads and loads and loads of comms after I had my little competitive madness thing where I just like decided that I wanted to play competitive for ages. I had a whole summer holiday where I did nothing but play competitive and really sweat that and that was kind of bad. So I joined Sim Pub Stomping, then Impact Nation, and then finally rejoined Razor where I met Tasty. And I made loads of comms in that time. So obviously I've improved quite a bit now. I'm able to like speak quite fluently to think of a good comm topic and obviously to carry on speaking for as long as possible and you know, I hope you guys enjoy listening to me and stuff like that. Team Razor is a really good team. I'm really pleased and proud to be a part of them. And I'm sure Ray Razor Tasty can actually say the same thing about them. He's got... I don't know if he's got a gameplay from the channel yet. He's actually got a couple of really nice gameplays that you're... For example, the one you're watching in the background. And also the Fast Dane bomb that was previously uploaded. Unless I'm, com I'm commentating back to back here. So, when I'm commentating now, I literally just finished off commentating the Fast DNA. Um, I don't know whether he's going to upload that one first because Ray's Tasty actually has control of the channel, uh, with the main uploads to the channel. He does the majority of the rendering because I, of course, lead Team Impact Nation, so I have to focus on rendering and uploading videos for that team. So he does the rendering for the Tasty and Overload channel. So that's really nice for him. Thank you to him for that. Um, guys, looking forward to the end of the gameplay in the background. I'm running out of things to say now. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video and listening to the commentary. If you did uh, enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment and subscribe for more, of course, favourites if you really enjoyed it, guys. And as always, my name is Overload and hope to speak to you all in my next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.